Hey ballers, 15 years ago, uh, Radar Skis was a relatively new entity and under the direction of Chris Sullivan, they came out with the RS1 boots. It was uh, a couple of years into the history of the, of the company and it was a spectacular boot. I had a bunch of pairs of them, loved them. They kind of eventually got upgraded, rebranded to the Strata boot and then upgraded again to the uh, Vapor Boot, which is the current top of the line at Radar. And it is probably the best selling high-end boot on the market. Uh, I don't actually have the data, but I mean, you see them everywhere. I'm pretty sure that's true. So super successful, great product. People love them, comfortable. The latest versions have that uh, Carbon X. It's actually a carbon fabric um, in, the, in the body of the boot. So this is the 2022 version, and I got to say, uh, well, I know, I know that Brooks Wilson told me that he has four years of effort in this. So the, the original boots came out 15 years ago. For the last four years, under uh, Brooks Wilson's direction, this product has been uh, being developed. Uh, they are extremely excited about it. Uh, I've seen them once before, kind of in a prototype stage. I'm significantly impressed with what I saw, so I'm looking forward to getting my own pair. Okay, so here is the boot, kind of my first real look at it. Let you get a super good look at it. There's the boa and the top laces, the completely flat bottom, the uh, Carbitax cuff, I don't know why I struggle saying Carbitax. I used to drive Eddie Roberts insane because I would never say it correctly. We miss you, Eddie. Um, so what we really have here is you should think about this boot or the, the upper portion of this boot in three different ways. We have this, this completely rigid base and toe piece. And then in the middle section, it's pliable to some extent, right? It's not soft, but so, Sorry, I should have shown you that. So, you know, you loosen it up and it's it's got some give. And then as we tighten this down, lock that in and tighten it down, you can choose the amount you want this portion to come and wrap around and hug your foot. And then the upper, of course, is even more pliable. It is the, the Carbitex material. It's literally carbon fiber fabric but it's, it's there to give you some give and some play. And you can control that also with how tightly you do these top places. So again, you've got the, the rigidity for the absolute edge control of a pure plastic boot down at the bottom. And then up top, you have something a little bit more like rubber that's got some give. Um, the guys at Radar are they're over the moon about this product. Everybody I talk to is like, well, they're trying not to talk about it. But as I've been trying to dig some news out, everybody's stoked about this and running it. So what's interesting about this cuff is it's a little bit stiff front to back. Oh, for those of you who think that that's not the best idea. All right, I've never done this before, so we're going to discover this together. But I've got to pull the liner out. Same liner, I believe, or very similar to previous years. Excellent, excellent product. So there's a screw in the back. Actually, so this cuff is held on with three screws, but the back one is key in this case. And by the way, this is the same Allen key that I would use to uh, adjust my fin with. And watch the magic. Aha, now I have a fully articulating cuff. So if I want it to be uh, if I want to be able to move forward much more, I want to more give front to back, I'm going to take that screw out. Um, somebody out there is going to run it with this in there. So that's a pretty cool option. Now let's say you're like me and you like a front boot, full front boot in the front, but you want something more kind of hybrid in the back or uh, a lower cuff, I guess I should say. I'm going to take that off there. And I'm gonna take the screws out of here like this. Take this out of here like this. And 
Now, voila, radar half boot. So me personally, I'm gonna run this on the back. Uh, took the cuff off the wrong one, I think. This is for left foot forward, but that's fine. And there's the front. So, so check this out again. So here this is. It's a fully beautiful, it's a nice looking little shoe, right? Um, back binding and then the front binding. So I could not be more over the moon with this product. Um, if you want one, you're not gonna be able to get one till this fall. They're, uh, they're still in production, but if you wanna see them, they're in the booth at Nationals. So if you're going to Nationals, they've, uh, I think they'll have some for you to try on. Uh, the, the common sizes will be there. They'll also, of course, have their new Slalom Ski, which is getting rave, rave reviews. Let's see what's in this other box. Okay, so this is uh, what they call the sequence plate. And um, what's cool about the sequence plate is, is it has, I'm gonna apologize to Brooks, I forget what you call the technology, but they have this uh, micro-tunable um, inserts in here. So when you set your binding, let's say you're running your bindings at 29 and 7 eighths, if you want to go forward a 16th uh, with the cute little parts in here, and I'm not going to demonstrate it right here on the fly, you can index your bindings forward a 16th of an inch and back, which gives you much more flexibility. Remember, a standard stock binding place gives you uh, three eighths adjustability, which is ridiculous. We adjust our fins, you know, a couple thousandths at a time. Why would you move your bindings three eighths at a time? So sixteenth of an inch, it's plenty, plenty enough. So check that out. I'm stoked with it. This, of course, will sit on my ski. Looking forward to this. I'm gonna put this on here and this on here. Oh, that is right foot forward. Yeah, I'm a little dyslexic. It's fine. All right, and then uh, the single plate, also also carbon. It's got some other holes in it that I'll have to ask uh, Brooks about when uh, when he gets back from nationals. Hey, Bolly, take 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 a really good look at this thing. These details are just amazing. Uh, when Brooks was was talking to me about this, he used all kinds of big fancy words: electromagnostatic. What's it call it? I don't know what he's talking about, but I, what I got from it is in the four years they've been working on this, they really spared no effort to get this right. Um, you know, products come through here. Some of them are interesting. Some of them are good. A few of them are fantastic. I haven't skied on this yet, but I'm already a fanboy. So let me, uh, I'm going to stick my foot in it. Hang on a second. Slide in there. Ooh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do this first. Oh gosh, that's nice. And then these. That's just an exceptional feel. I'm super stoked about this.